Part three, the ontology of visual experience. All this raises the question, where is the picture in our experience that appears when we open our eyes? Is it out in the world before us or is it somehow inside our head? This is an ancient debate that goes back to whether perception is direct or indirect. Direct perception or naive realism is our natural intuitive understanding of vision that we see the world around us as the world itself. Indirect perception or representationalism suggests that the world we see around us is a perceptual replica of that world in an internal representation. This is a profound philosophical uh, dichotomy, uh, and it's central to the understanding of the principles of vision. And this issue incredibly remains unresolved to this day. I propose that this is the single greatest obstacle to further advance in understanding of the essential principles of vision. So according to direct perception or naive realism, the world we see around us is the world itself. The problem with this view is the causal chain of vision. Light from the world enters our eye where it is transduced to an electrochemical signal which is then sent from the eye to the brain where it stimulates a pattern of electrical uh, activity which has the consequence of us experiencing the visual scene. So the appearance of the conscious colored percept is causally dependent on the presence of this pattern of activation and not in direct contact with the activation that causes it. The problem is that the visual vivid spatial structure that we see in experience appears at both ends of the causal chain, both as the source and as the final result of visual processing. Direct perception fails catastrophically in the case of dreams and visual hallucinations where there is no objectively real object as the object of perception. It also fails catastrophically in the face of visual illusion where illusory objects are perceived where there is none in the stimulus. Indirect perception or representationalism suggests that everything that you perceive around you is an image in your brain. The problem with this scheme is that it suggests that everything around you is inside your head, an idea that is so preposterous that many consider it not even a serious alternative in contention. People have come up with all kinds of alternative schemes to try to uh, get around this issue. For example, some people believe in projection theory that experiences a spatial structure produced by the brain, but is projected out of the brain again to appear superimposed on the world. The problem with this theory is that nothing has been detected projecting outward from the brain. Max Velbens, the modern proponent of this projection theory, insists that nothing physical is projected, it is just experience that is projected. Well, the first problem with this is it's an unfalsifiable hypothesis because its prediction that nothing will be detected coming out of the brain uh, is identical to the null prediction that nothing is actually projected from the brain. Furthermore, this projection theory diverts the most interesting part of the problem of vision to outside the world of observable science. Then there is the philosophy of eliminative materialism championed by Daniel Dennett, that consciousness does not exist as we experience it be, but rather that consciousness is an illusion, that when we think we are seeing a three-dimensional colored spatial world, what is actually happening in our brain is just a mass of electrical activity which corresponds to our experience without the necessity for any kind of actual pictures in our brain. Whether the image of experience is an explicit spatial structure in your brain, or whether that image is projected out of your brain into the world, or whether you can have a spatial experience in the absence of an explicit neural representation in the brain. In any case, whatever the ontology of the image of experience, that image is the essential product or output of the visual system without which vision would be useless. The image that is my experience has an objective reality as an object in my experience. That object is an essential component of my visual function. 
The image of our experience is therefore a valid subject of scientific scrutiny. Indeed, no model of vision can be complete without this essential component. Part 4. Perceptual Modeling.